Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am up to something really fun today. I will be going on a tour of a local chocolate factory here in Finland. So if anybody has heard about any Finnish chocolate, they have most likely heard of Fatser. And I am going to do the Fatser experience today, which is some kind of tour, a guided tour around their factory. Now let's see what it's all about because Fatser not only is famous for chocolates, but they also are famous for other sweet treats like cookies. Uh, they also do breads and other savory food items. So let's see what the tour is all about. I'm hoping that I can do some filming in there during the tour. So I will take you guys along and show you how much I can capture of the process. And then I'm hoping to pop into their gift shop, which I'm sure they have there, and pick up some of my favorite uh, items and maybe even some new things that I've never tasted before, and then I'll do a taste test with you guys to show you some of the highlights of what they have to offer. But first things first, let's get inside and let's get this tour started. Let's go. Well, that was a fun experience. A little bit disappointed that we didn't actually get to see any of the chocolate factory in person. Like I was thinking maybe we could see something behind a glass or something. 
something behind a glass window or something like that but no um, we saw some video of the chocolate factory part but that was it but all around great tour they had um, some actual cocoa plants uh, growing and they gave us a fun little gift bag as a thank you and at the end there was as much chocolate as we wanted to taste um, before we left so very hopped up on sugar now <laughs> <laughs> but I think I will still do a small taste test once I get home. So stay tuned for that. All right, hi guys. I am actually still in the car because I realized that I am really full from tasting all of the sweets on the tour. So I don't think I will be wanting to dig into these treats that I got. Uh, plus I know what almost everything tastes like. So it wouldn't be like a true taste test. I wouldn't be surprised by them. I would just be describing to you guys what they taste like, which doesn't make sense to me. But I did want to show you what I got in the goodie bag as well as what I bought to take home from the gift shop. So uh, first the savory things. So it came with this bag of rye bread which feels super fresh and I think it'll be very delicious. We love rye bread here in Finland so this was perfect. It also came with a box of domino cookies. Uh, also a favorite of mine. I like them. They're kind of like the finished version of Oreos. Uh, not quite as intense of flavor, but very good. But exactly like Oreos, like cream in the middle with two cookies. Then I got some fruit candies. It's called Assamix and they're just, yeah, different flavors of fruits and also some licorice in there. These are nice, not my all-time favorites, but I wouldn't spit them out if someone had them handy. And then there was one of their classics, the Fatser Milk Chocolate Bar. So this is amazing chocolate. If you've never had it, I highly recommend you try it. Obviously you can't get it everywhere in the world, but if you can get your hands on it, it's really good. I would even wager that it's the best chocolate that I've ever had apart from of course maybe some like handmade specialty chocolates but for a basic chocolate bar this is really good so I'm glad they put a little bit of the basics in the bag there was also a smoothie in here but I already drank it uh, because I needed something refreshing after all of the sweets I had in the store but this was what came uh, complimentary. It was a part of the tour. We got the goodie bag at the end as they were thanking us for joining the tour. But I also got some additional things. So I got these Jaffa cakes which have my favorite um, marmalade in the cookie. So there's like a pear marmalade in between like there's a cookie on the bottom and then there's a chocolate layer on top and then there's a little marmalade heart and I love these marmalade balls. You can get them separately also from Fatser. They're my favorite uh, kind of non-chocolate candy, I would say. I love them, especially during Christmas time. They're great. So I'm really looking forward to this version just to see how they are. And then I got this Dumle Summer Mix. So Dumle is um, like a toffee filled chocolate candy and it's the normal flavor is just normal toffee covered with chocolate but this one has a few different flavors um, so that should be fun to try and then I got this other chocolate bar that comes as a cinnamon bun flavor and now if you know about Finland Finland is very famous for their cinnamon buns they're delicious and they're unique a little bit different than if you're used to the american cinnamon buns like cinnabun or something like that slightly different there's cardamom in the uh, cinnamon bun dough which gives it a nice unique flavor but let's see what this one is like i'm curious to taste it it should have little crumbs of uh the cinnamon bun flavor in the chocolate. I'm not always a big fan of these flavored ones because sometimes the flavor crystals or the or the flavor bits are a bit chewy like they get stuck on your teeth and I don't want that when I'm eating chocolate. It should be like completely melt in, melt in your mouth um, the whole experience. I don't want stuff to be stuck in my teeth and then get separated from the rest of the chocolate 
none of that. So let's see what this one's like. And then as the last thing, I got some uh, hot chocolate mix for my husband because he really likes these specific ones and they were cheaper to get in the um, in the souvenir shop. So just a lot of fun things all together, a fun tour. Again, a little disappointed that I didn't get to see any view into the actual chocolate factory. I was hoping that that would be included in the tour, at least through like a window or something. I realized for like hygienic reasons, they can't let us actually into the factory, but I would have wanted to see some kind of view of them making the chocolates because that's always a unique perspective. But even without that, it was really a fun tour. I think I enjoyed the um, plants the most that we got to see the cocoa plant. We got to see a cinnamon tree and a vanilla plant. And then I really did enjoy their more interactive uh, things there as well. Smell, you know, we had to smell some things and, and try to identify the correct candy based on just the smell without actually seeing what it was. It was harder than you'd think, but the Dumle I was able to identify, so that was very easy. They also had us taste two candies which had a very unique color. One was black and one was green and they were trying to show us how strongly our minds decide on a flavor even before we've tasted it. So many people would think that a black candy might taste like licorice but it actually tasted like orange in that case. And the green one um, you might think okay maybe mint, maybe pear, apple or something like that but it was a toffee flavored candy. So a really unique way for them to show uh, perceptions and and the way we taste things and and how they've taken uh, kind of the flavor game at heart in their products. So a really great tour. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you on the channel next time. Bye guys. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know